Hey, did someone catch the plate number for that two-legged fire truck? <laughs> Hi guys, this is Jason Hidalgo with the Reno Gazette Journal and USA Today Network, also known as Tabia Sovia on YouTube, and I'm previewing the monster that will extinguish the burning fire in your heart, Coral Puki Puki. Yeah, this is part four of our Monster Hunter World Iceborne preview, where we were recently able to try out the first few hours of the campaign using a test build at Capcom San Francisco headquarters. Once again, you can play the story with other folks via the multiplayer route should you so wish, and I've shown off three other new monsters in the previous videos, mainly Baryoth, Viper Toby Kodachi, and Nightshade Paolumu. This time around, I switched to my favorite weapon class in the series, the Bowgun. Of the two, I decided to go Heavy Bowgun so I could try out the new mod that powers up the special ammo. Unfortunately, the armor set I had was not optimized for gunning. I also realized during the hunt that since this was multiplayer, I really wouldn't be able to use spread and cluster ammo as we had two close range fighters in our team. But I still gave it the old college try before switching back to melee in the last few minutes of the fight, mainly because I didn't want to deal with mixing ammo without my radial menu setup, and time was running out for the session. I also wanted to showcase most of Coral Puke Puke's moves, which befuddled our hunting team since this was the first time most of us were facing this particular monster. I mean, I could have shown only parts of the hunt where we were doing good, but then you wouldn't really learn much. Also, we have a hard cap of 30 minutes total for footage that we can show from this media playthrough event, so I couldn't put the entire hunt here. Anyway, I quite enjoyed Coral Puke Puke, who I nicknamed Fireman p -dubs. <laughs> The variety in his water attacks are just excellent, and it was arguably the trickiest monster moveset we faced all day, as I was seeing folks being launched left and right by its different fire host attacks, even late into the fight, which really didn't happen with the other monsters. To close, please feel free to reach out if you have any comments or questions, and as always, Thank you for watching.